How's it going guys and welcome to today's video. In this video I want to talk about a problem that presented in the workshop recently from a customer. He tried to do his own service and he ended up damaging the sump plug. It came into us and then we had to rectify the problem but what happened was it came in late on a Saturday and we found out one the oil sump was damaged and could not be removed he had completely shredded the head as you will see in these clips um, and I believe that it probably started by turning it the wrong way in the first place trying to remove it because this thing was so tight no matter if I used my uh, Nipex Cobra pliers vice grips uh, the twist sockets all of them methods were used and each one of them had a fantastic grip on the remaining part of the head and still couldn't move it it was absolutely jammed in position that some plug did not want to uh, did not want to back away the other kicker was the oil level was high and this sump had to be this sump plug had to be taken out on this day no matter what we couldn't get another sump plug so I had to come up with a solution for removing it and reinstalling it again. Also we don't have any oil extractor to go down on the dipstick in the workshop and as I already said this happened on a Saturday. Part suppliers had stopped, all of the dealerships uh, don't do any parts on that day so it was a case of try and get this done for the customer so they could continue on their weekend without leaving the uh, vehicle stuck in the workshop. Now, what I've done here only applies in extreme cases like this, no other options, but if it happens to you, you may find that you're able to get it out using these methods as well. Essentially, what I did is I impact on the uh, sump, sump plug itself, I give it some taps of the hammer to shock up the threads and I tap around the area that it's going into. Now. I would recommend doing all the steps which I said, which is twist sockets, pliers, um, vice grips, and seeing if you can remove it that way. There's also some um, spanners or wrenches out there that have unique heads that can help on rounded. But as you can see in the uh, clips that I'm showing, none of those with the amount that was left on this particular sump plug would work. So essentially what I did was I got my chisel, I aimed it outwards of the sump so it wouldn't have any bearing on the sump and we're trying to protect so no damage happens here. Um, I'm trying to create a groove so I'm, while I'm shocking into the edge I'm also just trying to get a groove deep enough that I can angle and hit it hard. So I'm hitting it quite light until I create a channel within and that sump plug head. Once I have that, I can start to impact it a lot harder now because if you just have a shallow bit taken out and you impact hard, you can just chip that off and you have to start all over again. So you wanna get deep enough within on the head that you get a, enough of a groove that when you hit it hard, it doesn't just break off, but it actually tries to turn it. Once you have it to that stage, you can outwards again, so you're not aiming in towards the sump and keep impacting it. And by using that method, I was able to get the sump plug to free out. Afterwards, because I had to use the same sump plug again, the customer needed the vehicle, we couldn't get any, any replacement, there was nothing in store and there was nothing in stock. We set about thinking about what I could use, so I decided I would uh, use the bench grinder, grind down the edges into a square, and it was suitable for 11 mil um, head. I did have a calipers on it, and I just took a little measurement after grinding, and my 11 mil spanner was suitable to actually put it back in. Thank you. 
Very simple tips, but if it ever happens to you or you run into it in the workshop and you have no other way out, this can be a very useful method to removal. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.